boy raises his pistol, threatened the robber with arrest, but then he turned around and recognized that it was his former partner. Just then, other officers arrived. Roy told his friend to run, but he was too stupid. He ran straight into a cul-de-sac. The officers were confused. Who the hell was the robber talking to? Roy panicked to save that idiot. He was willing to do whatever it took, so he took off his jacket. He stepped out in a pretend manner. He slowly approached, promising $20,000 in compensation. The partner finally relented. From then on, Roy became famous. Not only did he gain a young fan, he's also been appreciated by the director. But he didn't care about that. Instead, when no one was around, sneaking into the air vent, but he had no idea, the diamonds, that he had taped together, but all that was left was duct tape, Roy was desperate, thinking that someone had taken it first, but then he noticed the water stains on the wall, he finally realized, that a pipe had burst upstairs, and washed the diamonds away, Roy's hopes were raised again, trying everything he could to find them, finally, Using a mirror, he managed to find the diamond in the corner. He held back his excitement. He was about to complete the final step. But then the director arrives unexpectedly, giving him an urgent assignment. Roy was desperate. He's working part-time as a cop again, to get his hands on the diamonds. He's more dedicated than a real cop. The criminal runs headlong into a clothesline. Roy just happens to arrest him. By coincidence, Roy had done another great job. The commissioner himself gave him. He was given free access to the evidence room. That was great. He opened the overhead ventilation duct. After a bit of fumbling, he finally found the diamonds. Roy was so excited, he was about to give a kiss, but the director arrives unexpectedly. The diamond had fallen straight into a crevice.